Hi there. It's mid-December. Time for a new video. This time I'm going to replace the bearing. I guess you recognize this. It's an axle. This is actually an axle from a, a eight and a three quarter. Uh, it's going to be a little bit modified and be installed in a in a Dana axle, Dana sixty. So the bearing is a green ball bearing, a little bit different than than the one that is here, but that's that's going to be okay. I'm going to be as usual rather old school about it and we can see how i will do it with just simple hand tools uh, hammer chisel uh, torch what have you but that's that's about enough so let's get on with it Here we have two options. Either we start hammering on it, on this ring, the locking ring here. It will expand and it's easy to, to pull away. That will enlarge the diameter. If, you, if we want to reuse it, we shouldn't do that. So usually a bearing kit comes with a new locking ring, but we can, uh, we can, uh, remove it uh, in, in a way that it can be used again. I don't recommend that, but that's something we, we sometime needs to do. Oh, where are my safety rods?
looks a little bit beaten up, but it can be, uh, <clears throat> well, it can be uh, fixed and reused if we want. As I said, I don't recommend it, but that's what we can do if we want to. Looks rather okay. I didn't hit the bearing surface here, so it's okay.
as you could see <clears throat> there was some some kind of struggle involved with this it's easily done in a different way just by cracking this bearing the outer bearing when it is there you can use two hammers and just smash it and this will crack you can apart it but the reason i i do it the way i do it now it's different from one bearing to the other how this uh, basket cage is, is done and uh, usually when you remove one or two or three of these the, the other comes out rather easily the reason is, I, I want to save this because this is something I use in, in, in other applications. Back to the hammer and chisel. Remember the goggles. Always stay safe. There you have it. We have heated this a rather, rather a lot, so this sealer here is probably gone. 
doesn't really matter. We will not use this uh, this time. So I save it for another another day, and um, I will have to remember to replace the the, the ceiling there. Uh, yes, this is what it looks like. Here are all the parts. Uh, the axle looks fine. Manage to do this without causing it in any any damages. What we have to do is to inspect the axle. Um, here is rather fine. There are no markings or or otherwise we would have to polish them with a file. And uh, this is the surface where the new sealer are going to to be. So this area here is is rather important. It, well, it, it looks fine. I will again use my. Where did it go? Well, I got a new one here. Polish this up a little bit and in, inspect it. So here we have it. The axle is clean. Surfaces for, for bearing and sealer looks okay. Here we have probably the most specialized tool I will use. It's a common pipe, steel pipe. Has to be more or less the, the correct diameter here. That's the only only thing that is important for, for this pipe and the length of course. We cannot heat this bearing very much because it has a, a sealer here and um, it's, it's not recommended to heat it especially much, just a little bit, a little bit. running out of grease.
heard a different sound. Now it, the pipe is bouncing. It means the bearing is seated correctly. Now it's time for this, the new uh, locking ring. <clears throat> Same approach, but we can heat it a little bit more. bearing and the locker ring is seated just fine so there you have it <clears throat> now some of you may think he forgot something that's not the case this one can go in there after the wall because on the green bearing we have this kind of solution here so this pops in afterward straight there There we have it, done. Thank you very much for watching another video where we have replaced the axle bearing. Going old school some effort, some hammering, some elbow grease. Result is more or less the same. Anyway, thank you. <laughs>